guys, you made it to day five. Awesome. I'm so proud of all of you. And please, 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 please remember, it's not about being perfect. I've had so many people contact me. Oh, I screwed up. I ate the wrong thing. I was at a birthday party and I had a bite of this and I ate this and I had a piece of pizza. And it's not about that. It's not about doing it perfectly. It's about getting back on that horse and just continuing. You know, it's there is no perfect. Everything is perfectly imperfect in life. Every relationship, every everything. It's all about the lesson that you learn from it and Every cleanse experience for me has been unique and different from the one before. Um, this one was really interesting. I started out strong, um, you know, awesome, and then my family came to visit, and they're here now from Israel. So my fam my entire house is complete chaos, and this cleanse actually really helped me to stay grounded, and um, even though chaos was happening all around me, it really helped me to separate a little bit about it from it so that was really cool um, I have a couple of mom friends from my kids school who have been checking in and you know helping them along the way helps me to do better and um, yeah just coming back to the basics and remembering that there is no perfect is really what this is about for me and finishing out strong um, last night I kind of had like a little mess up but instead of punishing myself, I jumped right back on today and today's been excellent and I feel great. I feel so good overall. I feel more energetic, um, no headache today. It's just awesome. Um, so thank you all for all your support and awesome comments and emails and messages and photos and videos and all the energy for this is just so beautiful and you help me to help you, so thank you. Um, I just want to give you a few tips going forward. So today is the last day. Um, try and stick it out the whole day. And tomorrow, avoid red meat if you do eat red meat. Avoid anything processed as you go into the weekend. Um, try and stick to similar food groups and food in general. Have a smoothie in the morning. Try and have a soup at some point during the day or another smoothie. Have a juice. Try and stick to the same food groups. Don't just go right back into the way you used to eat. Just feel it on your body and slowly bring in one thing at a time. So if you like eating dairy, bring in dairy. Bring in one thing that you like, you know, if it's hopefully grass fed and make it a good quality dairy, cheese or milk, and go from there. Experiment, see how it feels. If you like to eat gluten, pick your favorite thing, try it out, but don't do everything at once. Bring in one thing at a time just to test it on your body. Take notes, be aware. Your body is super sensitive right now and use this as leverage to catapult into whatever it is you want to achieve your goals. So if you still have another 10 pounds you wanna lose, use this, use this as leverage. Let this be a jumping off point. Don't let it just be a one-time thing of five days. Keep it going. You can be doing this experience, this cleanse, every day for the next few weeks until you reach your goals. And if you need to take off a day for a wedding or if you need to take off a day for whatever it is, so be it. If you wanna cheat a little at a birthday party, cheat so be it I don't believe in cheats I think it's totally you just do the best you can most of the time and go from there you know it's supposed to be a lifestyle it's not a crash diet so yeah that's pretty much it you guys I just wanted to give you those little tips um, try and get some good exercise this weekend get out in nature and I love you all thank you so much please comment below and let me know how your experience was and anything you're thinking and want to share with me and the rest of this tribe. Have an awesome Friday.